Hey everyone, I'm Colby Stevens, site manager here at Bentonville Battlefield. And today we're out in front of the Harper House. The house behind me here, this was a field hospital for the 14th Corps. And today we're talking about what these men eat. So on tour here at the Harper House, a lot of visitors ask us, what did the soldiers eat? That's a great question. So today we're cooking a recipe from the steward's manual. So here at the hospital, the hospital steward, this is a federal hospital steward. He's going to be in charge of feeding the men. He's going to be in charge of giving them medicine. He pretty much runs the hospital. He's the administrator here. So his hands are everywhere. So we have a manual and that's where this recipe comes from. So this recipe, this is recipe number six, and this is beef soup for 50 men. Now, of course, I'm not gonna cook for 50 men. We're gonna dial that back. So I'm gonna cook for roughly 20 men. Uh, so I'm gonna read through kind of what, it, um, you know, what it calls for and how we adjust for what we're cooking for today. So it calls for seven and a half gallons of cold water, uh, fresh beef, 50 pounds, rice, three pounds, fresh vegetables, carrots, onions, turnips, potatoes, eight pounds, 10 tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of pepper. Put all the ingredients except for the rice into the boiler, bring it to a bowl, add the rice and simmer for three hours. Before serving, the fat should be skimmed off and kept in a clean vessel. It will serve as an excellent substitute for butter for many cooking purposes. So we're going to start off as it called for here and this for 50 men. Instead of, instead of 50 pounds of beef, we've got 10 pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and put our 10 pounds of beef straight into the pot. The next thing it calls for are vegetables. So we have our onions. And we have our carrots, we have potatoes, uh, and it called for turnips, uh, but it being March, you could have turnips or uh, also rutabaga. So we have substituted turnips for some rutabaga. Now one thing it didn't call for, but we're going to add to it, is cabbage. Uh, most of the recipes, even though it's a standard recipe, soldiers are going to change to it depending on the season. It being March here in Bentonville, cabbage is coming off, and cabbage is a great source. It's going to give the stew, uh, it's going to give it a lot of meat, it's going to give it a lot of texture. So we're going to add our cabbage in, and the stew pot is nice and full. The last thing I want to add in is our salt and our pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle that in over the top, give everything a quick stir. Now I'm going to set this on the fire. Now it says to let simmer for three hours. So tune back in. We'll see you in three hours. Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's been three hours. We've had a rolling boil for three hours. It's cooled down. We've put in the rice. Now it's time to see the finished product. So we'll carry it to our table and we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. So there's one of the rutabagas, potato. And let's get some of this beef we cubed up. And there you have it. A lovely, looks very good, delicious beef stew for 50 men. Enjoy.